world is set in very lavish and lush 19th century theatre. It's well over 25 years since we developed the original. The constant between the two of them, of course, are Maria Brionson's extraordinary, iconic costumes. The wonderful thing about Maria's design, in addition to establishing the opulence, the thing that she loved was the establishing of the characters, because it makes the part come alive for the performers. Basically, anything that has to do with the way it looks or fits the actor, I'm in charge of that until I turn it over to wardrobe. I hire someone to make the costume, choose all the fabrics, do all the fittings. The first thing I do in fittings, every time I get a new person, we do the shoes. Because if they can't get through a fitting in them, they can't wear them in the show. There's anywhere between about 285 and 350 costumes in the show proper. This is, I think, is a pretty good example of the amount of elements and detail that goes in to creating the opulence and texture for one of these Victorian operas. It has fringe, these are called engagants, beautiful ruffles, and these lovely little lappets that are also themselves embellished. And notice there's a ruffle here and another piece of trim there. All that sort of detail contributes to the romance and all that kind of stuff that people associate with the show. This is one of the most iconic pieces, the Phantom's Cape. He wears three different capes over the course of the show. This is his beaded cape, his fancy cape. The back has been hand beaded. This is Christine's act two dress for the manager scene. My personal favorite dress in the entire show. All embroidered, a lot of the uh, trim was done by hand, and it's got all of the understructure and layers that a traditional gown of this time period would have. It weighs about 25 pounds, specifically tailored to the actress who wears it. Part of our rehearsals in New York were teaching our girls how to move in such elaborate costumes. Hundreds of hours to make. Cost about $10,000. I'm definitely holding the most expensive piece of clothing I will ever be holding. <laughs>